G'day everyone, how are you going? I hope you're all well. Welcome to the tutorial for Feeding the Family by Spacey Jane. Before we get into it, just make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any tutorial requests, leave a comment down below. Uh, I've got plenty on, so don't request too many all at once. Also, check out my second channel. I'll put the link to it up here in the corner, and I'll put it uh, in the description as well. Let's get into the tutorial. Alright, this song, very similar to Good For You, um, but a little bit slower in tempo, I would say. Uh, but besides that, very similar. If you haven't watched that tutorial, make sure you watch that at the end of this one. Um, so the intro sounds like this. So, these chords make up the intro and the verse. So I'll explain them now so that we don't have to go through them again later. So what we've got is we've got an F. First finger, first fret of the B. Second finger, second fret of the G. Third finger, third fret of the D. Then we've got a, a somewhat of a D chord, um, and you pretty much just bar fret five from string four down making some sort of D chord. Then you have a D minor by adding your uh, ring finger to the third, no, to the seventh fret of the G string. Then you have an A minor by moving that finger up a string to the seventh fret of the D string. And then you have a C chord, which is First finger is on the 8th fret of the B. Second finger is on the 9th fret of the G. Third finger is on the 10th fret of the D. So, they're the chords. Um, then the picking pattern. Picking pattern is essentially just D string, B string, D string, B string, G string. So, G, B, D. Then, so basically you strum everything once, is how I would explain it. So it's like, then slide into the next chord, which is the D, so. Same again, G, B, D. Then you add your finger to the seventh fret to make the D minor, and you hit G, B, G. That's the only change in this pattern. Then you move the f uh, that finger up to make A minor. Then you go G, B, D. Oh no, D, G, B. Slide to the C. Now on the C, you strum it, let it ring, and you kind of bend the strings a little bit. And then that's the intro done. So I'll play it through slowly a couple times. So that's the intro. The verse uses the exact same chords, just strum differently. So the verse sounds like this. Basically, all that is, same progression. Strum the F once, then you sort of mute, move to the D, strum it once, mute. Strum D minor, mute, A minor, you strum this one twice. Then go to the C chord and strum it four times, just all down strums. Pretty much all I play is down strums for this song. Um, 
that's that's it it's relatively simple i would say it is odd timing and the fact that the picking pattern not picking pattern the strumming pattern isn't just like a down down up up down it's a sort of it's like it's sort of structured differently which i guess is what makes them sound so good then there's the chorus so the chorus sounds like this What we have there, bar chords have entered the chat. We've got, I think this was a C over C over F. Um, so f this finger bars frets, oh, fret eight of the E and A string. And then our third finger bars the 10th fret of the Then you take the uh, exact same structure, slide it down to fret three and five. Then we have a G major without the root note. So what happens in this G major is the guitarist actually takes this middle finger out of the equation. Um, for a few of the strums by making it sort of a G minor sort of shape. And then he also uh, takes this uh, pinky off and adds it to the fifth fret of the B at the very end just before changing back to the C over F. So I'll play the chorus through, it sounds like this. Strumming pattern. A lot of downstrokes in there, I can't figure out for what it is for the life of me. But it's a lot of downstrokes. So. Could be a down, 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 down. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Then the only part that's left is there's a sort of outro section, and um, pretty much all that is is the F. <laughs> to a D up here. So, essentially, you take this F shape, slide to frets three and five, then you slide that to frets seven and five making that A minor shape we discussed earlier. And then there's a new chord, which is a D, which is first finger on the 11, no, first finger on the 10th fret of the B string. Your second finger is on the 11th fret of the G, and your third finger is on the 12th fret of the D. And then that's pretty much it for the song. Um, the picking pattern is obviously a bit more aggressive in that as it's the outro section and the other guitarist is doing all this solo stuff. When I figure out the lead part, I'll make another video for that. But um, in the meantime, here's the rhythm section for Feeding the Family by Spacey Jane. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my other channel. And um, yeah, I appreciate it. Cheers.